Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our webinar on Empower Small and Medium-Sized Companies, the Transformative Power of Technology and Data. I am Michelle, and together with Santiago Mera and Juan Oves, we will thrill it to be your host today. Thank you all for joining us from Florida, USA, and above. Today's agenda uh, is going to be divided in four parts. The first part is going to be exploring the future of technology and data. The second part, revolution in the operation and competition of a small, medium uh, and medium science enterprise. Third part, experience in project management, product development and customer manage management for global companies. The last part is going to be revealing practical ideas and real life success story for inspiration. Please feel free at any time to leave any questions and the team will attempt to answer them at the end of this section. So I'm going to introduce our speakers that is Juan Oves. This he is the co-founder and COO of Digital Henka and Santiago Mera, Development Manager at Noob8. At Noob8, we help our customers to turn their ideas into realities through collaborative partnership and cutting edge technology. Also, with our extensive experience in cloud services. And Henka, who write the gap between business and technology using our experience in both worlds in order to manage successfully technology projects in traditional companies and create real change that help companies future-proof their business. But let's not get ahead uh, only with ourselves. Juan, can you please dive into our companies how can empower themselves by using technology and maybe share with us some real-life examples? Thank you, Michelle. Absolutely. Uh, technology and data are not just buzzwords, uh, which is what makes this interesting. They are really catalysts for change. In this section, uh, we'll discuss how you can improve efficiency and growth for your small or medium-sized companies. Uh, when we integrate technology into operations, companies can streamline their processes, improve decision-making, and enhance customer experiences. Whether it's adopting cloud-based solutions or leveraging automation tools, or even harnessing the power of analytics, possibilities really are endless. Let's go into the actual benefits that come with integrating technology into operations uh, for your type of companies. Uh, from streamlined process to enhance decision makings, these are some of the uh, larger benefits of technology integration. Technology integration in automates manual tasks and it streamlines processes and reduces inefficiencies. So when you digitize workflows and implement software solutions, companies can eliminate bottlenecks, accelerate workflows, or even optimize uh, resource allocation. And I'll go in more into depth in a couple of real life examples uh, for them. Technology also uh, provides access to real-time data and advanced analytics. This empowers decision makers with valuable insights. Data-driven decision-making companies can really identify trends and anticipate market shifts. And this allows you to make informed strategic choices in order to stay ahead of the competition. Automation and digital tools also increase productivity by minimizing repetitive tasks and enables employees to focus on high value activities. With collaborative platforms, remote work capabilities and seamless communication tool tools, companies can foster a more agile and efficient workforce, as well as a workforce that is disaster proof, as we've seen in recent years. Technology integration can also yield insignificant cost savings by reducing manual labor, minimizes errors, and optimizes resource utilization. Cloud-based cloud -based solutions, for example, really eliminate the need for expensive hardware investments, investment and maintenance, while subscription-based software models offer scalability and flexibility without the upfront capital expenses that needed to be done before, and usually would be 
uh, cost prohibitive for smaller companies. Technology also allows companies to deliver personalized and responsive customer experiences across all touch points with uh, CRM or customer relationship manager systems, marketing automation tools, and omnichannel communication platforms, companies can really start anticipating customer needs and addressing inquiries faster and build lasting relationships with their clients. Like I mentioned before, scalable technology solutions allow companies to adapt to changing business needs and scale operations as they grow without the need to go very big at the beginning and um, using on-demand and cloud uh, elastic uh, capacities or uh, capabilities, enabling companies to expand or contract their infrastructure as required. Technology also gives you a competitive advantage uh, by enabling companies to innovate faster, uh, enter new markets, or even differentiate their offerings. When you embrace emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, which I'll mention a little bit uh, further on, machine learning or Internet of Things, companies can really unlock new opportunities for growth and differentiation. Technology also, uh, integrating technology also allows you to enhance your risk management, like I mentioned before, uh, by averting uh, natural disasters or things like the pandemic where your whole workforce can work remotely, uh, or even anticipating regulatory compliance and the fast changes in today's world, and also uh, bettering your cybersecurity measures, automated backup, and making sure that you mitigate risk for your business continuity. Another side benefit or really good benefit of uh, technology is environmental sustainability. Technology integration supports environmental sustainability by reducing paper usage, minimizing energy consumption, and enabling remote work arrangements. This really allows companies to minimize their carbon footprint and contribute to a greener, more sustainable future. And finally, but not um, less important, technology promotes business agility by enabling companies to respond rapidly to market changes, customer feedback, and competitive pressures. With flexible infrastructure, agile development methodologies, and iterative processes, companies can either innovate faster and stay ahead of the curve. These benefits really show the impact of technology integration on company and sets them up for success in today's digital, digital age. Thanks, Ron. That's, that's an excellent breakdown of, of the yeah. benefits of, of technology integration into company operations. I, I, I would just like to add, that when the time comes to implement those solutions that will realize those benefits into uh, that will transform those benefits into a reality the comprehensive set of services that amazon web services offers for building your data foundations are definitely your best choice and being able to choose the right tool for the job is crucial for realizing the potential that the cloud has to offer and nobody that's had any best partner with a certified team can definitely help with that but <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves and uh, some of those real life examples that uh, Michelle was mentioning at the beginning, can, can, can you dive into how companies can empower themselves by and use this technology by sharing some of those examples? Absolutely. Uh, thanks, Miguel. Uh, in today's market, competition can really be intense. And I'll mention a couple of ways that companies can, uh, can empower themselves and use the technology. And then I'll go into uh, a couple of examples that we've worked uh, with in recent times uh, in the past year that actually showcases. Uh, so a couple of things that, that we've seen is small and medium-sized companies can leverage technology to overcome uh, these challenges, right? The challenges being their size uh, and mobility uh, and in order to drive sustainable growth. Uh, by adopting digital tools and innovative solutions, companies can enhance operational efficiency expand their market reach and really stay ahead of evolving customer demands. Uh, one of the things that is important about this is that one size does not fit all when it comes to technology solutions. So companies must tailor the strategies to address the specific needs uh, and challenges of their particular market. And technology allows them to do this. So with a good strategy, they can tailor it to better success and to offer uh, their clients the, their best solutions. Uh, and that's whether implementing e-commerce platforms to reach their online customers or adopting mobile payment solutions or any other type of infrastructure-related uh, solutions. 
one of the things that I mentioned before also that makes sense here with a quick uh, change in it, um, regulatory environments can be complex. Uh, and regulations vary across industry and local jurisdictions. So companies really must stay abreast of this type of changes in order to avoid penalties or legal risks. Technology usually plays a vital role in simplifying that compliance process and making sure that you stay ahead of this. Uh, another benefit or, uh, of this is collaboration uh, with sister companies. Uh, intra collaboration with the companies or with local universities uh, and data and good data management allows for uh, a culture of innovation and collaboration in order to uh, drive innovation. Another good thing uh, they can harness uh, when you address workforce challenges. So workforce uh, development is a pressing issue for most companies. Uh, with skill gaps or not knowing where your skill sets are within the company. So technology allows you uh, to bridge these gaps either by uh, finding the right people or the people with the skills within your company that maybe you did not know that you had or allowing uh, in-house people to actually learn uh, with virtual learning platforms or online certifications in order to make sure that you have the skills within the company. Like I mentioned before, uh, sustainability and resilience is a big part of technology. Uh, since technology can really play a crucial role in promoting these initiatives, such as renewable energy adoptions or waste reductions. Uh, also, technology solutions can enhance resilience against natural disasters by enabling remote work capabilities, data back, backup and recovery, and emergency response planning. I know we, I talked about it before, but also all other types of uh, emergencies such as I don't know, a hurricane which uh, destroys uh, your servers before now can be mitigated by doing backups on the cloud across the, on different regions. So these are all theoretical uh, examples of how you can uh, better your company using technology. But I'm going to tell you about two specific cases that we've seen in the past year that actually drive this point through. And uh, really help understand or deny, uh, put a measure the benefits. So in one particular impactful engagement that we worked on, we worked with a high-level executive from a traditional construction company. This person was faced with time-consuming task of manually compiling and analyzing data for project performance reports. And the company has asked for help in order to streamline that process. This person spent a week of each month working on uh, creating this report, right? And it was a high level uh, person with many other responsibilities. We work leveraging advanced data digitalization analysis techniques, which Santiago may uh, can comment on later. Um, and we were able to change our approach to data management. We implemented automated data collection methods and developed customized analytical tools that were tailored to a specific needs. Results were really staggering. Not only did we eliminate the need for time-consuming manual data entry, but we also enabled the board to access real-time insights and metrics at the click of a button. What once took over a week of manual effort every single month now became instantly accessible, empowering the team to make data-driven decisions with unparalleled speed and accuracy. To put this into perspective, this transformation not only saved valuable time and resources, which were around $70,000 annual in savings, so that's an instant $70,000 uh, saving in just optimization of people's time, but it also enhanced the board's ability to proactively address project challenges and capitalize on opportunities as they arose. If that was profound and it led to increased efficiency in increase improved project outcomes, and ultimately, greater profitability for the company. This scenario serves as a really compelling example of the transformative power of the way you manage technology and data in any industry construction in this particular example. By really embracing innovation and modernizing their approach to data management, companies can unlock new levels of productivity and competitiveness in today's rapidly evolving landscape. Another example uh, from the past year that we worked on was on a retail company. Uh, in 
We generated a transformative partnership with this retail company and collaborated with them on their operational inefficiencies, which stems from outdated paper-based processes and fragmented data management systems. Prior to, to this, the company really struggled with manual record keeping and separate tools, negatively impacting their ability to make informed decisions and provide personalized solutions to our clients. Our approach involved a comprehensive digital transformation initiative aimed at centralizing and digitizing their data. We guided the company in establishing a robust data lake, seamlessly integrating data from all their various sources, including things like sales transactions, inventory levels, customer preferences, and external market trends. Once we had this unified one source of truth data infrastructure in place, the company really gained the ability to leverage those advanced analytics and machine learning algorithms to anticipate purchase, purchasing needs and optimize their operations. By analyzing this historical sales led data, combining it with seasonal trends and customer be and real time customer behavior patterns, they were able to forecast demand more accurately, streamline, streamline inventory management, and minimize stockouts and overstock situations. These insights also derived uh, from machine learning algorithms enabled the companies, the company, this particular company, to offer personalized solutions uh, and recommendations to our clients. It enhanced overall customer experience and loyalty with our clients. Uh, it was done through targeted promotions, product recommendations, or even customized, customized offerings to the person, which is something that before could not be done. So now this company was able to cater to the unique preferences of each individual client, driving increased satisfaction and repeat business. This case study is incredible in the way it shows the transformative impact of embracing data-driven decision-making and leveraging cutting-edge technologies in the retail industry. By digitizing their operations and harnessing the power of machine learning, they not only optimize their internal, internal processes, but also delivered enhanced value to their customers, positioning themselves for sustained growth and success in what is a really competitive market. Thanks, Juan. These are really very, very interesting cases. Uh, as, I was as I was listening to you, I, I was thinking that to get to the point where the, the, these benefits of the, of the benefits of these projects are become evident, and and the company greenlights them and then gives you the okay to, to to go ahead and implement them, it surely must have must have required some some serious level of analysis and getting to really know the companies and how they work, right? So, how does Hinka? successfully achieve these? Are there any strategies for successfully adopting technology in business? No, that's perfect. Yes, actually, there are several strategies that can drive success. Um, and when we work uh, as Henka with a client, we go over all of them uh, as part of the project. Mainly having clear objectives and information to reach those objectives is the key to this. Uh, so we start with a couple of main things like i mentioned setting a clear objective is absolutely paramount companies must define their goals whether it's to increase market share improve operational efficiency enhance customer satisfaction or all of them but these objectives need to serve as guiding principles aligning the efforts and resources towards that common vision uh, investing in the right technology is essential and part of the process is finding what that technology is for that particular company since it's not a one size fits all, right? So companies should assess their current infrastructure and identify the areas where technology can drive significant improvements. Here is where the partnership between Henka and Nube can really help these companies by identifying both the technology that company has as well as the one that will be the best fit for their objectives. Embracing data driven approach is one of the most important things because it changes the way that a company operates. Uh, it teaches the company to use invaluable insights by collecting, analyzing and interpreting the relevant data. Companies can now make informed decisions that are backed by evidence rather than intuition. From understanding customer behavior to identifying market trends, that analytics empower companies to stay ahead of the curve. One of the things we always mention is focus on customer experience. 
if you're a retail company focusing on uh, end clients, or if you're a construction company focusing on business clients, it's still the same. You need to focus on the end customer experience and know who you are building or doing the things for. Uh, and delivering exceptional customer experience is non-negotiable. Companies must prioritize this type of satisfaction at every touch point and leveraging technology to personalize inter interactions and anticipate customer needs are critical. Uh, one of the things that is important in this type of project is an agile and adaptive approach. What does this mean? It means that companies need to be able to react quickly to change and they must be ready to pivot in response to either market dynamics, emerging opportunities, or any type of situation that arises. And technology allows uh, companies to pivot quickly. Uh, collaborations, like I mentioned before, uh, also help if you uh, work with other um, companies in the industry or harnessing the, the data generated by other companies in, in the industry, this will help um, your company and if you have the right technology to do so you can uh, import or access this type of information immediately another thing is to be continuously monitoring and optimizing your solution technology is not a set it once and let it go solution it's something that is live and it changes permanently so it's something that you have to be continuously monitoring and a uh, evaluating the performance of these technology investments and identifying those areas for improvement and iterate on the strategies accordingly. This type of strategies, when they're implemented systemically, can help small and medium-sized companies really unlock their full potential for growth and success. So those were a couple of strategies and uh, examples I showed, and I hope that some of what uh, we are sharing right now helps you feel uh, inspired and empowered to take your company to the new heights using in this strategic integration of technology and data. Remember, it, this type of journeys have its challenges, but with the right mindset and tools at your disposal and the right partners helping you through the process, there is no limit with what you can achieve. Thanks, Juan. That, that, that was very, very interesting. Uh, we'll explore now how Nube can help uh, unlock this immense potential that, that, that you were mentioning uh, involving the use uh, of, of data and technology integration into business uh, processes and, and, and decisions. So uh, Juan mentioned uh, several benefits uh, and several ways of empowering that, that could be resolved by several different approaches, but we're going to focus now on, on one of those uh, aspects, which is uh, data analytics. Um, we both, Nuwait and Henka, are firm believers that every company can benefit from data. And whether you're a seasoned player or you're just starting your data journey, there are two key concepts that can be game changers, and it's data lakes and data warehouses. Uh, it's important, to, I want to emphasize that these concepts apply to every company size and type. It's, it's not thinking about a data lake or a data warehouse or how you're going to use your data. It's not something that you should be thinking about only when you reach a certain size or if you're as part of a specific industry. Uh, that The data that you, the, your day-to-day -day data is a gold mine that holds a key to unlocking very valuable insights. So what do we mean by by a data lake and a data warehouse? You can imagine a data lake as a, as a vast reservoir, a central repository that holds all your raw data. Imagine from sales figures to customer interactions or operational logs. Uh, and this comprehensive collection will allow of information will allow you to explore diverse set of questions as your needs uh, ar arise. So uh, it, it 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 opens up a, a big potential of exploring new or answering new questions. Now, on the other hand, picture what the data warehouse as a structured space, meticulously meticulously organized for specific analysis, like a filtered pool. Or a which is cleansed and organized for specific analysis needs. Now, in this case, this is ideal for answering predefined sets uh, set of questions quickly and very, very efficiently. So it's perfect for generating uh, reports that you already know the, how they will look like, or drawing some specific insights from those from those reports. So how do we get data from where it is now to the data lake or data warehouse in order to be able to take advantage of it? 
Well, connecting those data sources to those destinations is where data pi pipelines come in. Yeah, you can think of them as uh, literal pipelines where information seems to flow from its origins to its destination. But if we think about it in more detail, it's like a process that gathers, cleans, and transforms your data, preparing it for analysis as it is channeled from that source to its final destination. Uh, to, to bring this to a couple of practical examples, imagine collecting customer feedback from a form that would be your source of information, and then you will have a pipeline that cleans or structures that information and loads it into a data lake or data warehouse where it is readily available for analysis. These examples, uh, another example, sorry, might be uh, analyzing customer purchase history. You would have a data pipeline that would collect individual purchase records, clean inconsistencies, organize them, normalize them, and have them be ready for analysis. So these are just a couple of examples that might reveal uh, trends in customer behavior or would allow you to tailor marketing campaigns or improve product offering. So you can see that even with this basic examples, you can see the power that, uh, of, the, of, of those conclusions you can draw from the data you have. So where is your company at? Some of you may be may already have data collection systems in place, may, may need to focus or require specific work on specific segments, while others may need to develop entire process uh, of data gathering and analysis and reporting. But remember that every company has unique needs, as Juan was saying a few minutes ago, and we'll make sure we'll tailor our approach to your specific situation, identifying your needs and building the most effective solution. So I want to go back to the construction company example that Juan mentioned a few minutes ago and take a look at, analyze it a little bit further and take a look at how this could be solved if you think about how this translates to a, a concrete solution in AWS. From the description provided earlier, it's clear that the data pipeline looks something like automated data collection for data ingestion then some type of cleaning and transformation to normalize it. And then finally, uh, business intelligence tool for automatically creating and presenting reports. So what kind of, what services would, would this imply in, in terms of AWS? We could use, for example, Amazon S3, which is a scalable and cost-effective object storage service that can securely store large amounts of data. Think about project documents, sensor reading, equipment logs, for example. Uh, we could have, we, we could complement that with uh, Amazon Lambda, which is a serverless compute service that can be used to trigger automated data collection routines, for example, uh, integrating several data sources and keeping the data lake uh, constantly updated. Um, we could also put into the mix uh, AWS Glue, a serverless data cataloging and data preparation service. So with Glue, we can automatically discover and organize the information that we had stored in S3, and we can make it ready, readily available for analysis. And we could also uh, automate the extraction, transformation, and loading, the, the ETL process, as it is usually known, uh, in which, which would transform the data from its raw state into its normalized state ready for analysis. Uh, we could also use Amazon Athena, for example, uh, which is a, qu a query service that would allow us to run uh, ad hoc queries as they are required to analyze the construction, the, the, in this example, the construction store uh, information stored in S3, right? So all of that without managing any infrastructure because those are serverless uh, services which are uh, available uh, directly for use. And finally, if you think about business intelligence, we have Amazon QuickSet. It's a business intelligence service that enables the creation of interactive dashboards and, report, and reports. So that would provide users with real-time insights into project performance and metrics. That is to say, as soon as the information is updated in the in the buckets, you would have that impacting the the online reports you are looking at in in QuickSight. Um, I mentioned briefly ETL processes, and something I would like to to point out is that there are several integrations between AWS services that facilitate point-to-point -point data movement without the need to generate ETL data pipelines. So this is what AWS calls zero ETL, which is uh, very, 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 very powerful. And, and if you're using the right mix of services, it's something that you can take advantage of. And if you think about what benefits can we draw from using the services that I just mentioned in this type of solution? Uh, just to mention a few, you can think about scalability and cost effectiveness, right? S3 will offer the scalable storage, so with a pay-as-you-go model. So as 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 the solution uh, grows or your or your needs changes, the solution can easily scale and accommodate uh, future needs. We can also think about automation and efficiency. 
services like Blue and Lambda will automate data collection and processing that will eliminate manual tasks, it will save time and resources, so making us more efficient. We can also think about uh, real-time insights and improved decision-making. Uh, Athena and QuickSight will provide real-time access to, to the data um, via pre-made reports or ad hoc, ad hoc queries, I was, as I was mentioning. So with that, you have improved decision-making, and as Juan was mentioning, also data-driven decision, right? De decision-making. And finally, we can we can mention as well improved collaboration and visibility. Uh, cent a centralized data lake uh, will become the, 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 the single, the, the, the sort of unified place where users will, will look for, for information uh, and getting to know where the state of operations are. So that will, that improves visibility and allows for better collaboration between teams as, as you don't have so separate data silos, for example. So what's your approach to, to data projects? Um, we believe AWS is a perfect uh, platform for, for data projects. It's flexible, it's scalable, and it's secure, right? So uh, these sort of three points basically sum up what we think about uh, when we think about approaching the our data projects. We, we need the, the, the right tools and the right solutions. We don't believe in a one-size-fits-all approach, although, the, of course, there are several concepts that will be best practices and probably apply for most scenarios but every company as i mentioned has specific needs and that's why we choose the best cloud-based tools for addressing them that way we ensure optimal results and we also take the time to understand your specific business objectives and data challenges that's what allows us to carefully select the most appropriate cloud-based solution uh, for your project we also ensure we assemble the best team for it right we have uh, a set of highly skilled and passionate data professionals. We have extensive experience in various industries and also expertise in cloud technologies and data architecture and data analysis. So we hold certifications on AWS, uh, with, uh, which ensure we we know the services that we are using. We know about, we, we understand the complexities of data architecture and can design robust and scalable solutions that can handle your growing data needs. And our team possesses expertise in various data and, and, and data analysis techniques, so that allows us to extract valuable insights from your data as well. And of course, we are passionate about helping you love the power of your data and strive to stay, we, we strive to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies in the data analytics field. So that allows us to provide the most cutting edge solutions solutions to our clients. And finally, we deliver efficiently and affordably. We understand that time and budget are crucial considerations. So we strive for fast implementation times and competitive pricing to pricing to fit your needs. Actually, uh, that is that is a, a great point. There are ones we actually see a lot of them, uh, in our project many times. How do you actually ensure that our project stays on track and fits these objectives? Well, a couple of things to mention here. Thanks, Juan. Uh, I'd like to start by mentioning one one. Uh, one of our core values here in Novate is customer centricity. So at the heart of our approach lies a steadfast commitment to placing the customer at the center of every decision and action. That's why we focus on really understanding our customers and what they need, and therefore assemble the best team for the project and, and ensuring that time and commitments are met. That, that with a set of proven methodologies and agile uh, development approach allow us to work efficiently, avoiding unnecessary delays. And of course, the partnership with Henka strengthens this customer-centric vision as, their, as, as Henka's in-depth knowledge of customers and the business uh, allows us to define the scope of projects even more accurately than we usually do. So it's, it's, it's really the partnership is, is, is a sort of the best of both worlds. And something else I want to mention is what, what, what when, when, when tackling these data projects, what what are some of the recurring themes that we see, right? Um, the, there are two here that I wanted to mention, um, which are data security and strong data foundations. Uh, data security is a top priority at, at Nuvate. We implement robust security measures throughout the entire data life cycle, from data ingestion to storage and analysis. So there are various security, uh, cloud security features that we leverage and, and, and best practices that we make sure that, that are adopted throughout the project to ensure that data is protected and compliant with industry regulations. And having strong data foundations is key to enable uh, meaningful and actionable insights on that data. 
So as well as uh, if you think about artificial, intelli artificial intelli intelligence, for example, uh, a strong data foundation is key for, for, for those more advanced usages of information such as artificial intelligence. So um, to ensure that information is safe and ready to fuel those uh, advanced application, it's it's very, very important to have a strong data foundation and you need data that is clean, well organized and readily available. And that's why uh, from the projects, uh, from, from the beginning of the project, uh, thinking about having that sort of architecture that will allow you to grow in the future and develop uh, new solutions or finding new insights is something that's very important for us and it's been a recurring theme, theme in, in, in data projects. And as I was saying, uh, when Juan when, when asked, the partnership between Henka and Nuvate is truly, truly an, an ideal mix. Uh, sometimes you, you see that you, you as, as companies may have, may have vendors that understand what you do, but then they don't execute correctly. Or maybe you've got vendors which are experts at what they do, but don't really understand the nature of the company. So with this partnership, we have a truly a truly ideal mix of understanding your specific needs combined with the technical expertise to translate them into data driven decisions and actual solutions. So it, it, it's a, a very powerful synergy that that, that sort of evolves uh, from this partnership. Uh, perfect blend of understanding and execution, as I was saying. So uh, you, in the end, you you. you you benefit from the combined strengths of both companies, right? Uh, so we are not just building solutions, we're building a, a future driven by data powered insights. So that's the main concept uh, to point out. Also, we are AWS partners, advanced tiered partners. So we have access to valuable resources that benefit you directly, including access to credits or funding opportunities or expert support from AWS solutions architects, just to mention a few. And in the end, this is, just a glimpse into the very exciting world of data analytics with Nuvate and Henga. We are ready to help you transform your data into actionable insights and help you propel, propel your business forward. Thank you so much, Santiago and Juan. This was really interesting information and really helpful. Uh, now I would like to open the floor to any questions you may have. Please feel free to type the question in the chat or and our team will do the best to address them. So um, I'll let you like one minute or two. We'll, we'll be waiting for your, your questions. We already have a couple in the chat in the Q&A, right? Yeah, I can see a couple and I can answer the first one if you want. Uh, so the first question I can see is who would be the best person from our company to start this process? And um, really, even though any person in the company can start the process, ideally leadership needs to be fully in uh, since change, most of these technology changes are uh, cultural changes in the company, right? And it needs to be uh, leadership driven changes in order to really apply. So the whole company needs to be in uh, and want this change in order to be a truly successful change. So the other question we have here is, do I need to know any technology to start this process? Okay, I can, I can answer that one too. Really, no. You don't need to know yeah. uh, about any technology. It's more of a, you need to know about your business and you need to know uh, what you want to do with it. Uh, what I mentioned before about clear objective setting is where do I want to go with my business? With our team, we'll help you with the technology and nobody is, uh, they are absolute experts on the, which technology to apply. So they will help with that. And at Henka, we can actually help you uh, once you understand your objectives to see what else can be done, right? So in the example before, uh, the retail company knew that they wanted to digitize and better use their data, but they didn't know exactly how. And we helped them understand that what they wanted to do was to uh, use machine learning and anticipate those 
uh, trends to provide better uh, support. And I can see another question there, uh, which is for you, Santiago, I'm sure. Uh, what is the smallest data lake that can be created? We do not have that much data. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a good question. Uh, I was mentioning earlier that uh, every company can take advantage of data, right? So you don't need to have a specific company size or be of a specific type to take advantage of this. So I, I think this goes in that direction, right? And what, what's the smallest data that can be created? Really, there's no limitation. It can be as simple and as easy as a single file. Uh, think about, uh, I don't know, if you have some manual process that you're recording on an Excel spreadsheet, for example, you can, we can, uh, upload that and then have some reports uh, derived from it and, and and have an automatic update of that uh, file in place as, as you have, uh, and you can imagine daily or as, you, as soon as you have sort of new information and have that replicated over to whatever report you are generating from it. So there's really no, no, no limitation there. Uh, it applies to everyone. Yeah, I agree. And, and everyone can benefit from, from mm -hmm. better analyzing their data. Uh, even Absolutely. if, like you said, it's it's a spreadsheet of client information. Uh, once you start uh, using it better and, and understanding how you can leverage that, that that's absolute. Okay, I see another one. Okay, this one I might take. What are the primary challenges that companies face when adopting new technologies and how they can overcome them to maximize those benefits? Uh, so really the primary challenges uh, to adopting uh, new technology really is adoption of new technology uh, and that sounds like uh, an oxymoron but really what it means is that uh, change has to be top driven in order uh, for success to be met so change is the hardest thing to do in a company and um, well guided change in a company is crucial for that, that success. And both at uh, Nubit and Henka, we are used to and we can help the company work through that and create good uh, change uh, management plans in order for that technology adoption to take place, correct? Mm -hmm. You can see another, another question here. How can companies ensure the security and privacy of data while fully leveraging analytics tools and the cloud. Uh, I mentioned security, so that's why I can take that, but uh, it's important to mention that, um, that there are several AWS services that have many security features built in and configured by default, and others require explicit configuration. So AWS mentions this all, all the time. You have the security of the cloud and security in the cloud, right? So we need to be sure we are applying the correct tools and processes to ensure the highest level of security, right? So we make sure we do that uh, and, and ensure, for example, your data will be encrypted uh, both in transit and, and at rest. We make sure there are proper backup procedures in place. Uh, access, access control mechanisms are also important. You need to make sure if you have 100 employees, can everyone access every every bit of information you have or that, does that need to be segmented uh, per report or you can also go in, into even more detail and say, okay, uh, this set of rows for, for, from this table are only accessible to a certain role and, and, and these others are not. So all, all of that is part of, uh, of the scope of the project. Um, you can think about disaster recovery as well. What happens, Juan Martin mentioned, mentioned this earlier, what happens if a region goes down? Do we have the procedures in place to replicate this or, or, to, or, or to recover this from, from backups we've already done in some other region and, 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 and ensure our business operations are not not disrupted. So all of that is part of what we uh, make sure is part of the project when when we uh, tackle an, a, a new project. Great. Uh, now one here that I can answer is, uh, what role does artificial intelligence play in the digital transformation of medium-sized companies and how can they begin incorporating this technology into their operations? So AI, really is a new technology and it still has some maturing to do but we are already seeing a lot of very interesting uh, implementations of the technology to real life uh, scenarios for all types of companies uh, things like using ai to generate content for the companies or for uh, sifting through very large 
uh, amounts of data uh, using uh, in artificial intelligence to reduce times, things like, uh, for example, in construction uh, companies where they receive very large uh, uh, folds of projects, uh, they can actually uh, use uh, artificial intelligence to summarize and get the main points uh, of those folds just to get started on the project. Then afterwards, they have all the information available, but artificial intelligence at least lets them get uh, the highlights and the things that they need to pay attention to. So there's some maturing to do, but there's already real life applications that can help there. Excellent, thanks. I don't think we have any other questions. Um... So there's just a, a small one here that maybe we can, before we finish, uh, and it's uh, for you, Sanjay, which is, What's the typical return on investment in companies um, within when implementing technology and within what time frame do they usually see results? And I, I think that the time frame yeah. is something interesting uh, to mention. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, so returns on investment can can be different for every company and that, that may vary, but uh, time frames are very short. Usually, uh, I don't know, within a couple of months, you can really see tangible results of what you've already been doing and, and being able to, to really sort of understand the value that's being driven from that uh, implementation of that project or that technology incorporation, as, as we mentioned earlier. So uh, you, you don't need to wait years and years to start seeing results. That's, that's, that's something that we think is very valuable as well. Excellent. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. I don't see any other question. So, okay. We really appreciate your feedback, your questions, and your participation in this webinar. Um, so, we are going to close the session. But before this, uh, I will also want to let you know that we offer you a one on one section to unlock the full potential of your company with Henka and Novate. So you can register in the link that I just post in the chat. And um, also, we thank you all for your time, your participation, and we hope to see you on future events. Thank you so much, Juan, Santi, and everyone. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, everyone, for, for being here. Thank you, everyone. Hope to see you Bye. soon. Bye-bye.